Yes, Vegeta beat Goku one-on-one -on -one in the Saiyan Saga. So what's your point? Oh, Please continue. That was the plan, little man. Ready for something more controversial? Ginyu. That's right. How so? Allow me to paint you a picture. picture. What's up guys, it's me the most there, Max, and I'm here to probably celebrate my new and most favorite <laughs> ongoing series on the channel called Outerversal Text Debaters, and to give you guys an idea, this is just but one of many of the wonderful comments that I see and deal with every day. This entire text thread was brought on by a singular comment that I said, and I'm not even kidding, whenever I said it was, you could make a job or video out of half of the comments in the video, so... Enjoy. <laughs> Please continue. That was the plan, little man. Ready for something more controversial? Ginyu. That's right. How so? Allow me to paint you a picture. Vegeta goes into an alliance of sorts with Krillin and Gohan. Not Goku. Not even there. This will be important soon enough. Things aren't working out. Gets healed up in the second. Piccolo is first. Can an instance of our hero, an idiot, giving a sensu bean to an op. A fine thing Cheats didn't just murder him, given there was no reason for him at all to gain PL over that time, via meme map, etc. So this is the same one that could match the first form. 90k ain't beaten 530k, earlier he couldn't even handle best KK times 5 by the sounds of his talk. Though being beat up and doing KMHM in the struggle made KKX4 blow his ass all out. On the way to Namek, this point, there was talk of raising that KK times 10 as the new limit where he fucks himself up. Not yet KK times 20. What's that? He should roughly double? No, you see his comfort is half his limit. KK times 5 makes him 450k. He couldn't measure up with KK on Earth from before. <laughs> Desperate enough to push some near limit case like KKX3 was before, KK times 6 would give him a slight edge while not being too far over the line. How long can he manage before it just wasn't good enough to put him on the hurt? Shall he resort to some absurdity in the face of GG again? Last time he had an over 77% PL advantage before KMHM put times 2.2 on it, effectively fourfold the target, and did nothing to save anger him. His PL only weakened him from power roll. Essentially, the situation hasn't changed since the last fight. He will jump. Can't turn into Uzaru. Only Cannon Master instead of Purple Drink Enjoyer like Target. You say? Good. Didn't need it. It was a liability when he needed to open himself up to work. This foe couldn't manage any higher multipliers on KK anymore. It was already over. Spirit Bomb? Huh. Let's not kid ourselves. The Earth version of that was about half of an involuntary sword. Just a planet and a small sample of the life on it. Didn't even manage to defeat Jeets. So weakened, he could be fought by Gohan, who couldn't even fight at half as snapping net. 4k. Not even half his power, so the full thing on his base was doing shit, let alone against his weakened Uzaru. Forget about full power. Namek is basically the same sort of world, with even less life, though stronger so maybe it ends up the same. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Will he pull from other worlds again for that amp? That bomb should do it. Except he won't be allowed to do it. Key sensing, as pulled rather than unearned from lean like Gokeg, experienced it before, etc. No, it isn't going to save him. Let's get back to it then. Case gets Ginyu, since Naivku didn't do it as Vegeta Asama does it right away on the defeated foes. Chestnut and breakfast runoff. The temporary alliance over. Vegeta's already plotting his betrayal as they would enact their own. He leaves Golaboku behind to hopefully die alongside Ginyu while he murders the kids. One's a grown man, led to get his wish. Didn't know he needed a password and a translator. 
but neither did they. So the abandoned protagonist fumbles the bag, his body. Kenya turns up looking real dumb as he gets slapped about by weaklings and his boy gets killed. Ever the team, not really, player, dear cheater, breaks the vassal's vessel again. But that's not where his talk ends. That is Kenya in there. The owner is in another body, currently expiring and ready to be killed. Kenya tries to change bodies twice, first to stop with the desired switch back in his broken state. Fortunately, not much after the snowball technique made a squeaky toy out of him. The second ends with the threat of snatching up identities. Good on him. He helped himself. Whether he thought of old Cheetah as a teammate or not doesn't matter. Vegeta was never actually working with him. Can't even call it a betrayal, just an idiot playing himself. Though he did get his emotions messed with a bit when talking about it, maybe assisting. What a room to believe that shit. Effectively a triple threat between factions that 2v1 won out of the picture. What results of this is a badly beaten TKO. Fellow with two useless pump guarding him. They are at his mercy. He spares them as victor. They lost. That the protagonist knew he wanted to exploit them so he didn't fear being slain in that moment doesn't change it, nor does this marking the start of an alliance post-fight. The cards were played. 2-0. Note, I don't typically count this one, since it requires so much explanation, but it amuses me to use it these days. Anyway, ready for the next one? Still in Z, by the way. I think you already know where we're going next. Or do you? Anyway, go ahead, make it with these scrub excuses before I get to it, lad. Your room. So, yeah, I think you guys get the picture of the hilarity of exactly what I deal with in comment sections. And this shit, I'm telling you guys, this shit has to stop, but it's unironically just too funny not to mess with. The even funnier part is, this is the short comment. And when I say comment, this was all one comment, and it's not even the big one from that exact same thread. What the fuck? Oh my god, this shit is killing me, man. The recording this, I was like dying of laughter throughout the entire thing, trying to honestly say this and take it like seriously. But be sure to like and subscribe and tell me what you guys think down low. And if this video hits 50 likes, then I will actually record the bigger one for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, if you think this one was funny, trust me, it's got nothing on the next one, okay? Fucking nothing. But that being said, well, uh, be sure to like and subscribe to both myself and the Coffee Shop content creators, and I guess we'll see you next time, Lanterns. Later.